Hi Capricorn, welcome back to the channel. Welcome to Angel Love 333. Hope everybody is doing fantastic. We're doing your reading today. Uh, what does Spirit want you to see? Uh, the good stuff coming. So with that, let's just get started with your reading. Let's see what comes through. All right. Got the Phoenix energy. Wow. Okay. And you also have here love. Okay, so this tells me, you know, this tells me a couple things here. This could be like you going through some sort of transformation here. Like this can be an awakening energy. Okay, this can talk about a renewal of love. But it's really um, rising above like any type of crisis or chaos or anything that you've been going through in your love life. So it tells me that you are going to get through it. It tells me that you are also going to be loved and supported by people around you. Okay, so with that, let's keep going. It's not telling me specifically here yet, but it does say there are positive things that are going to move forward in your life when it comes to love. And it can be just being supported by people around you. Like if you're going through something else in your life that it's not related to a love relationship, it just could be that people are going to support you during this time. Now, the Phoenix and the love can also tell me there's a renewal of love between you and somebody, okay, after maybe a conflict. So let's see what else comes through. Okay. Interesting because I do see here flashback and, and flashback talks about people from your past returning. So this could talk about, you know, it could be anybody in your life, could be a love situation, definitely with this energy. So there could be somebody, but it also can talk about somebody like as in a work situation, you may get a call from somebody you worked with in the past or a past employer. Somebody may want to give you a job um, at a place where you used to work, okay? Or maybe you do like side work or something like that. You're going to get a call here from somebody that you worked with in the past, okay? And some of you, I feel like someone from your past in a love situation is returning. And see here, you also have here gesture. The gesture card uh, talks about uh, receiving... Uh, recognition. It also talks about uh, somebody maybe doing something nice for you. So interesting. So this could be somebody recognizing your work, wanting uh, you to either do work again or come back to an old job. And some of you, there could be a past person here is going to make the gesture to show you that they want to give to a connection. Okay, so let's see what the tarot has to say. And actually, before I do that, I, I wanted to pull two of these oracles. What else uh, can you share? Capricorn, the good stuff coming. Okay, so the, you've got the card of change. See, some of you, um, this could talk about a change in your residence, a change in love, or a change in career. So there's definitely something here that is changing. It's also saying here, I'm just going to read it. It says, it may be a situation that you are restless and in need of a change. And that's exactly what is coming your way. So a situation, maybe you're feeling a little bit restless. Uh, there's a change coming. Okay. And it's a good change. Okay. You got, oh, we got two, no, one card here. You got care required. And this talks about grounding yourself and being careful. Okay. And making good decisions so there's something too about this change happening you do have the romance card on the bottom of the deck so some of you definitely this is a romantic situation um, so they're saying be careful okay because if this is somebody from the past it does feel like there could have been some some, some sort of drama or something happened so uh, they're just telling you to be cautious here okay care required Okay, now let's get into your tarot. But some of you have a romantic situation here, rekindling a situation. Some of you may even get a call for some work here. But it's uh, somebody you know. Strong Aquarius energy, got the star. 
Yeah, okay. Healing a past conflict is what I'm really getting or something from your past is coming back into balance. And, you know, that can work for either uh, career or love. Let's see what else comes through. Three of Wands. Ten of Swords. Yeah, see, something's coming back. Something's coming back that ended. Okay, like I said, it could be a job. It could be, you know, a work assignment and maybe they want you to do more. Like I said, some of you, it's a love situation coming back around. Ten of Wands. Yeah, Four of Swords. Okay, yeah. So I feel like whoever is coming back around in a love situation, this person has been struggling here. Could be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Also pick up Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Okay, look at that. You've got the Ten of Pentacles. See, something's coming back around. I'm going to pull another card here with this Ten of Pentacles. It feels like after a period of distance or conflict, somebody's had some time to think about things. I feel it's somebody that you're dealing with. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at that. Somebody's seeing your value, your worth. That's your energy. Queen of Pentacles. And then you have two of wands on the bottom of the deck. So you're going to have a decision here, Capricorn. Maybe uh, Mercury Retrograde's coming a little late. Okay, that's when past people show up. But there's a decision. You want the Page of Swords here. Okay. Page of Swords can also tell me, like, there's an opportunity to fix a situation. Okay, or maybe you need to investigate things more. Maybe you need more clarity to make a decision about this situation. Okay, but I definitely guess somebody's reaching out to you and you're going to have to decide here. Tell me more about uh, this Ten of Wands. Okay, Courthouse Justice. Somebody wanting to make something right, bring things back into balance. Like I said, some of you, this could be a new contract. Like I said, if you lost a job or um, you know maybe you own your own business been struggling but work is coming in that's what i'm seeing there too uh, some of you could get some sort of official letter document i'm seeing here okay but also justice okay there's some sort of healing i feel between you and somebody tell me more about this five of swords tell me more about this five of swords Okay, you got imprisonment. It's a stuck energy, okay. Something from the past, I feel some sort of conflict. Since there's been distance here, I feel like... I want to clarify this Four of Swords first. Why is Four of Swords here? Change, okay. Yeah, that's what's changing here. Somebody I feel where... Since some sort of conflict or situation that happened in the past, I feel like you and this person, there was never any clarity, okay, or solution to the situation. It almost just feels like you and this person went distant with each other. But what's changing here is this person's coming back around. They want to make things right. Okay. Some of you, like I said, it could be around work as well you haven't seen you know a whole lot of movement in your career or work now you do have the three of wands and you also have here the ten of pentacles i'm going to clarify this three of wands tell me more about the three of wands okay you've got uh main person here yeah this is someone somebody like somebody important to you who's coming towards you okay it's not about male or female it's about the energy Okay, somebody I feel you definitely care about that you love. I'm going to say for some of you, it could even be you've got family room here. It could be a family member, but this could also be somebody that you see having a family with or maybe you already have a family with. Tell me more about this Ten of Swords. Tell me more about this Ten of Swords. Okay, you've got concern. Okay, yeah. So definitely I feel with this person you have concerns. 
do have marriage uh, on the bottom of the deck and you have adjudication. This could also tell me, this could be somebody that you are married to. This could be somebody that you are separated from, okay, or thinking of legal separation or divorce or something like that. I do see some sort of ending. Um, but there's something here too. I'm just say if it's work for you, this could talk about you really deciding, do I want to commit to this? Is this something I want to commit to is what I'm getting because there is something from the past, whether it's love or career, that was very disappointing here. And some of you, I'm just going to say this could even be in love. This could be somebody that you felt wasn't very committed. That could be the concern here. Okay, there's definitely here there's regret, sadness. So I feel there's a change romantically here for you. What else can you tell uh, Capricorn about this change? You know, the three of wands could tell me there could be other options too. You've got family room. Now maybe family is involved in the situation. Sudden wealth. False person. Almost feels like this could be somebody that they may not have been honest with you. Okay. They may, you know, this could also be somebody who made you think they were someone else. I'm going to say it could even be a misleading energy. Somebody who you thought you know, you could be in a commitment or married to, and maybe they gave you a false impression. What else does uh, Capricorn need to know about this? Mature person. This could be somebody older than you. This could be somebody who um, actually worked a lot or, you know, maybe that's what happened here. Somebody who put all their time into work and who gave very little to this connection. But see, I get another card to change. Now, this could be somebody who is distant with you. I'm just going to say some of you, this could be somebody who, who maybe... Um, said they wanted to be in a relationship or they wanted to be married, but then their actions were different. But you do have change here again. This is Six of Swords energy. This is moving towards something stable. So I feel like you're going to have a lot of questions here. I mean, if this is the hope that you have, I feel in love and romance, I feel like, yes, there. this person is going to come back around. They're going to try and make changes here. Um, I feel like for some of you, this also could be talking about your work life. Okay. Changes happening in your work life where you may go back to an old job, a side job. Um, you may get a past employer who contacts you, who wants you to work for them is I'm getting that energy as well. So it's all good because I feel like this is a situation, you know, whatever your situation is, you may be feeling a little bit restless about it. And what's changing here, I feel, is this person is going to try and make, make things right with you. Okay, and you're going to have to decide, like I said, here's the crossroads. You're going to have to decide, you know, what does that look like for me in the future? So let's see what the guidance, uh, let's see what spirit message is for you. Okay, it says, dearest Capricorn, over there, I'm sorry, over here, there is no mystery for us to unravel as we know intimately how connected we all are, how the web of creation works and how spirit is in every aspect of life from the invisible to the visible. But it's impossible for humans to comprehend the complexities of how things actually work because the most important threads in the tapestry don't make sense in the dimension you live in. That said, can you feel the importance of these currents of energy that bring events together in miraculous ways? You can't understand with your mind, but you can know with your heart and soul. 
Trust that even though you don't know the how, the what, or the way, we do. Surrender to the mystery and have faith that the unseen world is watching you with loving eyes as spirit weaves your life's mysteries and beautiful tapestry in glorious technicolor. Loving you so much as always. Okay, so uh, Capricorn, I feel like in a nutshell, this card is telling you that you may not understand why this is all happening, um, but I feel the divine is telling you that it's going to play out, right? It's going to play out how it's meant to play out. And so you're going to rise above this. Okay. This is part of your growth. This is part of your transformation. So Capricorn, I hope you enjoyed this reading. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of the day or evening and I'm sending you angel of 